Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Review Flux Live. Today we're going to be playing Sherlock Holmes and the Devil's Daughter. Been wanting to play this one for a while, so um, let's sit back and enjoy it um, for a couple hours. Alright, let's see. Uh, new game. Let's just go with Keen Detective. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna overstate my abilities at this point. I hope you all are having a good start to your weekend. I am about to go see Avengers Endgame tonight, so hopefully that's gonna be great. In the meantime, let's enjoy a little Sherlock. Wonder if Benedict Cumberbatch is in this one. Now, I don't know much about this game, um, other than um, it's made by Frogware. I've enjoyed some of their other um, entries in the Sherlock Holmes series, so uh, I don't know if this has any connection to any um, Sherlock Holmes books or anything like that, so we'll have to see. Sherlock is not looking too good. Rah, rah. That went along nicely with the music. Uh, it's the Nazgul. Watch out. And that's the end of the game. Two weeks earlier. Am I disturbing you? No, please. You come in, Mrs. My name is Miss Alice de Bouvier. I'm Mr. Holmes' new neighbor. Oh, I didn't have the pleasure to. Uh, I am Dr. John Watson. Could we provide you with any assistance? Uh, she is not the concern, Watson. I'm. <laughs> then, what is this about? Uh, that child standing sniffling behind her. Get rid of him, Watson. But he is shivering with cold. And he is upset. What happened to him? Little Tom knocked at the wrong door. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, boy, come and now he's the devil's the child. Can I offer you a cup of tea, Mr. Booby? Well, I... It is not as though we are disturbing you-know-who. Are we? I suppose not. Since you are our new neighbor, it is perhaps better that you know what he's like. You're starting to worry me. Well, Mr. Holmes is relapsing. This illness that he has seizes him when he finds himself with nothing to do. He becomes completely asocial. And alas, this is a very difficult, medically incurable case. Now this must stay between us. I of shouldn't course, even be explaining I this. You know HEPA laws and all that. But there is a cure, if only a temporary one. A thrilling inquiry. Most certainly. If he refuses this one, then his condition will worsen. Oh, I am still here, you know. I didn't fall out of the window. Okay. Very well, then. Thank you. Oh, great. I have one choice. This boy is addicted to crack. Um, okay. Recently weeping. He's got a dumb haircut. Pale skin, malnutrition. A 
But who wears their age around their neck? Uh, I don't think he has caring parents. So I'm going to think it's neatly. Map of London. Malformation? Now tell me, boy, what brings you here? It's... it's my father, sir. He's missing. I... I don't know what to do. Missing, eh? And what do the police say? The police? They don't believe me. They say he's just abandoned me. But that's a lie! What do you mean, sir? Nothing. I was digressing. What's his name? George Hurst, sir. And when was the last time you saw him? Three weeks ago. He left for a new job. But this time, he was acting a bit strange and angry. Three weeks? That's a long time. Well, every day I thought he would show up. And anyway, I, I can look after myself. What do you mean, sir? Nothing. I was digress. Strange. In what way? He said to me, Son, I'm out on a special job. Don't you dare move from here. I think something went wrong. Very well. Your address, please, Tom. 12 Dorset Street. The first floor, door E. It's in Whitechapel, sir. But I ain't got no money to pay. Who asked for money, Tom? Your case seems to be the very medicine I need. I'll meet you there shortly. Oh, thank you, sir. All right. So we well, got our case. I can always consult with it if needed. Lots of documents our adventures in here. All right, well, I guess it's just his archive. He can always consult with it if needed, you know. And... Okay, wow. All right, well... Again, I don't have the best computer, but... It's not the worst, either. This game certainly has some optimization issues. Ooh, I could change my hair and my hat. I think I will, because I, I like this scrubby look they got for Sherlock going on. I kind of actually prefer the whole... Yeah, let's go ahead and, and then let's give him some... Wow, those are the only glasses? Why even have a choice? Alright. And then let's put on a, a nice jacket. outfits we can let's um 
Oh, that really isn't the worst one. Let's just go with Bandit. There, I am dressed to go rough up some hooligans. Watson, you son of a bitch! Holmes, you should help him. Don't tell me what to do, you son of a bitch! Anything over here to look at? Nope. Alright. We're going to 12 Dorset, I believe it was. I don't know. I'm sure the game will guide me there. Let's see if, um... Oh, what's her name? Like... The landlady. No, she's not here. And I'm gonna find some note that the kid could have found. This is cool. Nice city street right here. Can we run? We can run, okay. 12 Dorset, where is that? Ooh, balance practice. Oh, we're gonna get some gameplay in, here we go. Oh, okay, okay. This town knows how to throw a party, man. Everyone just sitting around practicing their balance. Alright, that worked. Am I wanting to go to Whitechapel? I guess that's where Doris it is. If not, then it's probably the police station or something. Let's go ahead and give it a check. Ooh, this game's got some loading times. Again, this is probably because of my potato computer. I'm gonna These streets are too narrow for the cab. I'll have to walk. All right, this is North Street. Do I have a map? No. Oh, okay, I do. White Chapel, okay. Twelve Dorset Street. Dorset, alright. Fourteen. Thirteen Dorset. This must be twelve Dorset. I think. No. Fifteen. Twelve Dorset. All right, it's time for me to do some Sherlocking. Okay, I guess this is a door to the back. All right, check that out again later. You must live upstairs. Obviously. <clears throat> Something in the pocket, a piece of paper. located on North Street okay so you like to go to that pub that's just information I, I could have got out the kid father soon. the Strand yeah. magazine so that's why you came to see me
Tom probably reads at night. Well, I can see the preparations for peasant soup. A clever concoction for somebody with apparently no culinary skills. I mean, it's, it's peasant soup. I'm sure it's just like potatoes and... Food's running low. It's already three weeks since George Hurst's disappearance. Paid, paid. Hurst covered his bills ahead of time, thus providing Tom with security and sustenance. My mother, sir, she died when I was very young. My father told me what she was like, but that's all I have. I'm sorry, Tom. My mother left me when I was very young. Let's climb up this ladder. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Alright, so Sherlock Holmes can't grab something without it being bright enough, so easy enough. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's go ahead and grab this candle. fire so let's go ahead and get the candle going in here in this fireplace maybe maybe the stove no may I need to find some matches food's running low it's already three weeks since George Hurst's disappearance maybe now since I have the candle it'll just turn out that I have matches yeah, there you go. All right. What we got up here? Hello, George. George, I know that it's difficult for you to find a job, and you will need to feed and clothe your son. So I passed this letter to a pub leaflet. I've heard there is a fellow there who is offering a special job. May it help you? I hope so. All right, so someone at the pub offered him a job. Just some old things. Just some old things. That's all. Don't worry about it. Just some old things. Don't even, don't even bother. Don't even waste your time. It's pretty obvious. We gotta go to the pub and rub some motherfuckers up. Try to figure out what's going on. I hope you'll find my father soon. All right, now I'll go walk down to the pub and ask some, some pretty standard questions. Anyone gives me any lip, I'll just beat the shit out of them. You know, I'm Sherlock Holmes, and this is Grand Theft Auto, right? <laughs> I play my Sherlock Holmes games like Grand Theft Auto. All right, so this was the the bar or the street, I believe. So I think. I don't feel thirsty right now. Is this the bar? That looks like a bar door. Man, I'm supposed to do something with the... Maybe I didn't get everything I was supposed to get there. Or maybe I was supposed to keep the the flyer for the pub. Maybe. Let's go back and see. I must have forgotten something.
The old Tabard pub, North Street. Glue. Probably taken from a wall. Oh, well, there you go. Alright, well. I didn't look at the glue on the back of the on the back of the thing, guys. That was that was my undoing. Good day, Mr. Holmes. I mean, I it isn't young Wiggins. Have I seen you found yourself a job? If you can call it that, I hate it. But if, if you've got any proper work for me, I just might be in need of your assistance later. Wait here. Your service, Mr. Holmes. All right, now let's check out this bar. I need to earwick to find out who is offering this special job. Offering that special job as a proper set of mutton chop whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's okay. That's it. He just wanted to bring that up. Hey, you know that guy offering that special job? He's got mutton chops. Just want to let you know. Equality for the working class. I'm glad I'm my own boss. I can complain only to myself. Or to Watson. Here, here. All right, this guy got mutton chops. You ain't got no mutton chops. You, yeah, those are mutton chops. All right. Nope. Must not be him. No gods, no masters. Are you are you the gentleman that with with mutton chops? Talking about a special job. No, okay. Uh, I'm just supposed to do some more. Okay. The child labor law sent your kids to school instead of the coal mine. There's there's no one to eavesdrop on here. Okay, there we go. Bosses beware. When we're screwed, we multiply. No, no, no. That fellow who's offering the special jobs, he never drinks alcohol. <laughs> so he's got mutton chops. He never drinks alcohol. So the man I'm looking for has whiskers and never drinks alcohol. No gods, no masters. <laughs> I'm totally not obvious i'm just walking around the bar and what are you drinking huh buddy you drinking anything it's not him it can't be him he's drinking alcohol and that guy said that he doesn't drink alcohol therefore it must be true Just gentlemen. What is he drinking? What is that? Is that water? You drinking water, you pussy bitch? I 
That's him. This must be the man that I'm looking for. Must be. I'll go over and talk to him. Or not, I don't know. At the time, I thought it was a good idea, but... Alright, man, I'm just supposed to sit and talk to him from there? Okay, so I'm just supposed to follow him, I guess. Alright. Well, I'm glad the game had that segment where you could theoretically wait 30 minutes if you really wanted to get into the atmosphere of of the game or whatever, you know? Well, that was pretty obvious. <laughs> I can't read! I should find out more. Yes, and why he would do something so obvious. You see that gentleman? I need you to follow him and report back to me. All right, Mr. Holmes. Is this a dangerous miss mission, Dr. Holmes? <laughs> or Mr. Holmes? No, not really. Why am I suddenly the kid? I don't want to be the kid. Great, now I'm some street urchin. You ain't gonna see me again. Pumpkin, cabbage, cheese. Won't let me pass. I'll need to find another way. Why wouldn't they let you pass? Rich folk feed meat to their dogs. The living costs are too much these days. My son has to work down the sewers. He's only seven. Those police won't let me pass in the street. They have no reason not to. Stupid kid. <laughs> what are you waiting for? <laughs> I have no idea what that kid was crying about. Ah, uh, boys from the Bruisers gang. Better keep out of their way. Don't want to get messed up Stop with the bruises. Get to work. I'll be able to continue the chase if I climb up the chimney, but it's dangerous. And I'm sure this guy won't. I'm sure this guy won't mind. I was gonna see if I could like punch that guy or something. 
Well, this has gotten interesting. Oh, I got where I just happen to have a brush on me. What is going on? Why is this story doing this? <coughs> hey, you remember when the BBC show of Sherlock, when they had that whole segment about a kid climbing a chimney and sweeping soot <laughs> from his path so he could climb up a chimney so he wouldn't have to deal with the Bruiser Boys? That was such a good segment. I really hope when I go see Endgame tonight that they cut away from, like, you know, all the Avengers and, and focus in on, on the Chimney Sweet kid who who the main characters hire to do the actual the gameplay. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> ah shit all right so i gotta go this way over these roofs now the kid might fall he better not fall he will die this isn't too bad of a little mini game. I got like in terms of a balancing game. This definitely it works. Oh oh god. Snake, you can't let him go. Let's go. Am I supposed to swing? Okay. Well, hey, that saved some animation costs now, didn't it? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Or lie in the morning? I don't know. What should we do with a drunken sailor? Okay. No place to hide here. We better go through the yard. Okay, that makes sense. Oi! What are you doing in my garden? Oi! Why are you here? I, I have no idea which way I was supposed to go there. No. This guy does turn around a lot. Oh shit! Get away from me, boy. What? Oh come on! I wasn't ready for that. Come on, hit me up with a pretty decent checkpoint here. All right, I'll take it. Just see me go down that hook again. Bump bump bump. I have no per first person view when it comes to this mode though. Okay, I'm gonna hang back, I think. Nope, I'm gonna go this way. 
Come figure out where I'm supposed to go through here. Hey! Hey now! What are you doing? You must get out of here! Yeah, and you can't get back in there. The fuck? So if you get out of that hole and you leave that hole. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm going to lose him again. Uh, I've lost him. Sherlock Holmes wouldn't let that happen. God damn it. How are you not able to duck back into the hole, man? I'm Captain America! Uh, jumping over your fence, which for some reason I can only do once. Not exactly sure why. Then again, I'm not exactly sure why I can't duck through a hole a second time. But, hey, that's where we are. I'm gonna see if I can keep track of them through the fence. And then he turns. Okay, this time he didn't come back down. What the fuck? Got you going into a building of some kind. Oh, no, no. Jim from it's too dangerous to enter. Hey Jim, can you lend me your kit? I'm on a secret mission for Mr. Holmes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's just like my livelihood and shit, but you know. Alright, so first and foremost, let's let's clean that shoe. Get all that shit off that shoe. Yep. Let's put that on there. Yep, let's get all that dirt out. This could be useful with a small brush. We'll put some shoe polish on. Did you fall asleep? Now we wipe off the wax. Wax on, wax off. What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, sir.
All right, so that gave me that gave me a bad score because why did I need this shoe shine them? I don't know how to shoe shine. I barely shine my own shoes over. Shining my shoes is pretty much taking them out of the cupboard and then like rinsing them down, you know, giving them a little bit of towel with some water, and that's it. Ain't nobody got time to shine the shoes. Am I going to pr press a button to wait 30 minutes? That's a big dog down there. Am I supposed to try? Damn. I need to find another one. Okay, it's just a, one of those. At last, the weather's good. Last week was freezing. Oh, no, it's the cold. So cold. I can't lose him now. Wrong. You don't have to make it so dramatic, game. We're, we're playing a game. I thought we were playing a game where we were Sherlock Holmes. But it turns out we're not playing a game where we're Sherlock Holmes. We're playing a game where we were hired by Sherlock Holmes to follow some guy. Which is fun. Don't get me wrong. It, it, you know, I really enjoy playing this no-name street urchin. Interesting. What's going on in the yard? Locked. What's going on in the yard? Or do I wonder what's going in on in the yard. I wonder. Um, maybe we can just break into someone's house. I need to get into the yard. Nope. Okay. Well, there we go. All right, I'm in the yard. Now I'm sneaking around. This is the early days of Solid Snake, everyone. Wow, a lot of expensive stuff. What'd you expect, kid? I can't see what's inside. I don't know why. <laughs> but okay. It's too dangerous to enter. Can I climb that ladder? No. Okay. I only sneak sometimes. Just sometimes. Maybe I go in the front door? It's too dangerous to enter. Yeah, no, it's too dangerous to enter. Oh my god. Can we please, like, get to, like, a, a murder mystery type thing instead of, My dad's missing. Some guy hired him and said he would he was doing a job. I know. I'll get a, a street kid to do my work for me. What else am I supposed to notice here? Letters on the desk. What? Lots of expensive stuff here. Hmm. 
feel like I need to get up to like that window or something. I can't look in that window. And there's no windows over here, so what the fuck? What the fuck? Mr. Sherlock? Oh, there we go. I can get to that window. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get to that window. Oh, no. Okay, there you go. Do only two people live here? I wish one was me. Bags of food. I like this ass. Okay, so maybe now there's another window I can look into. No. I can't see what's inside. I can't see what's inside. Alright, so now maybe I'm supposed to leave. Maybe. Locked. Am I supposed to jump back out? I can't leave yet. I'm not finished here. Okay. So, I guess there's another window I'm supposed to look into. See, and that's not green. That leads me to believe that I'm not seeing everything I'm supposed to see. Ah, oh, coat of arms. It might help Mr. Holmes. I'll make a drawing of it. There we go. Time to report to Mr. Holmes. Let's get outside before I get caught. Run, kid. Get the fuck out of there. Give give my agency back to to Dr. Holmes. Or Mr. Holmes. He doesn't have a doctrine. He's too good for that shit. Wiggins' tale was quite unusual. What do you make of what he found, Holmes? Wiggins did a good job. <laughs> That's what I think. Wiggins did a good job. Okay, it's telling me to examine them, but I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to examine them. Maybe a table? Okay, it's an obviously not at his analysis table. I'm sure there's like a magnifying glass or something somewhere around the room. Brave Toby, best nose in the British Empire. Rural. Holmes, we need to help poor Tom. Yeah, yes, Watson, you sound like London a and its surroundings. A broken record. I don't need to go in the Watson's room. Okay, examine coat of arms. Marks and symbols. 
the royal the potato one. cans. Coat of arms of the Marsh family. Nowadays, the representative of this family is Lord Edward Marsh, the well known benefactor. He provides the poor people of Whitechapel with provisions, warm clothes, etc. Lord Marsh is the renowned. He's also renowned as a co-founder of the special education program, which allows young people the opportunity for an education. Here it is. There it is. There he is. Be Lord Marsh, huh. a lord who hangs around in a public house. Let's pay a visit to Lord Marsh. We'll pretend that we're interested in his charitable activities. Well, Sherlock, that's lying. You're not supposed to lie. Mr. Holmes, you have a visitor. Oh, just ask him to wait. I'm afraid that won't be possible. This young lady refuses to wait for anything. What? Father! Caitlin! <laughs> Miss Caitlin's boarding school was flooded. Everyone was sent home. As if it could smell any mustier. <laughs> My word, how is it possible that you have grown up so fast? You'll be staying. Wherever will we put you? Holmes, I'll give her my room, of course. What do you have to say, Kate? You're on a new case. A respectable lady who's being blackmailed? Or is it a love story between a prince and a suffragist? However did you guess? Oh, you will tell me, won't you, Father? I didn't know that what uh, the uh, Holmes had a child. I'll go and unpack. Will you help me, Mrs. Hudson? I don't seem to remember any of that in any source, and and I even played some of these previous games, and I don't remember them ever bringing that up. Probably from the bastardization of the series. It's probably Eileen Adler's kid or something. Oh, I need to get out of the house. My kid's in there. Alright, where's Lord Marsh supposed to be? Because what do we do with a pirate, huh? These load times are pretty killer. Holmes, about Caitlin. Where yes. did she come from? She has grown up, hasn't she? Don't you think it's time to, to tell her? To tell her what, Watson? Well, about her father. Never. Absolutely never. Do you hear me? Holmes... You were responsible for the death of her father. You owe her the truth. She is old enough now. I would lose her. Can't you see that? She must never know. Watson, is that clear? Holmes. It won't and can't happen. I will point my finger so hard. <clears throat> he just told Watson. Uh, come in, please. Straight up. Get out of my business, Watson. Good day, gentlemen. Welcome to my home. How may I help you? Good day to you, Lord Marsh. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is my friend and colleague, Dr. Watson. Let's look him over. Alright, so yeah, he's got something going on with his eyes. That's ass from lack of sleep. Taking some strong painkillers. And there's this 
stethoscope. He's a member of the hunting club. This thing I missed up here. You have a Windsor knot on. I got imprecise character portrait. That's not good. Let me look at this again. So it could be he either has a lack of sleep. Oh, no. It won't let me change it now since I've made it. I got a wrong impression I on the guy. We're not disturbing you. You are with your physician? Yes, this is Dr. Reuben Fisher. But no, please, I'm intrigued by your visit, Mr. Holmes. I'm glad to hear it. The last thing I'd wish is to upset the patient. Lord Marsh, can I just say that I admire all of your efforts in assisting the poor of London? Ah, uh, yes. It is a war that we must fight on our streets and now, too, from my home. You must surely have noticed those bags full of items, clothing and books for the unfortunate. That is inspirational. Um, at my own humble level, I too try my best to support those in need. I thought perhaps that I could be of some assistance. I don't see why not. I already have. Why is the room ch tone Dr. changing? Fisher, who happens to be my personal physician. It's like between shots, like there's like an AC unit in the upper right corner of the room or something. Forgive me, Lord Marsh. You're looking very pale. Might I offer Doctor Watson's assistance? That is kind of you, but I feel confident that I can provide Lord Marsh with the care that he requires. How long have you been like this, my lord? I'm fine, Dr. Watson. Don't fuss. It's only influenza. I'll be better in a few days. I can feel it already. I it's thought I hit that curious. button, but... Your face seems familiar to me, Doctor. Oddly, I'm associating it with Whitechapel? Well done. You are right. I do occasionally frequent a few hostelries over there, would you believe it? <laughs> Not that I am a drinker. But there, dressed as a working man, I can approach the other fellows to see if they might be interested in a special job. A special job? May I ask what you're referring to? Murdering Certainly. people! I mean, well, no, I mean, I shouldn't... his special education program in 1889, he foresaw that such people would need an occupation of some kind. And so, with or without education, we propose these opportunities to work with Lord Marsh. It offers the less fortunate a chance to help make London a better place. That's remarkable. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Seriously, what is with the roaring fire and then just suddenly... Oh, and Lord it's God. Marsh has believed this since he was a child. Oh, oh, Dr. Fisher makes it all sound so romantic. Let's close this topic. I'm gratified by your interest in my charity. You're the first who has offered to help. Lord Marsh believes that he can help all these poor people. Imagination talent helps you... Okay. Um, I'm just going to walk around your house. Hope you don't mind. Guess there's no need to go upstairs ever. Whoever needs to go outside. It's shut tight. Hmm. Locked. Your house is a travesty, sir. Last year, three orphans were put through medical college. Thanks to Lord Marsh and the special education program, a great many poor people will have a second chance in life. <coughs> Lord Marsh, hunting with his friends. Ah, 
My dear comrades, Lord Collins and Lord Harrington. If it wasn't for this godforsaken English malady, I'd be with those rapscallions right now. How did they what write a about? message on there? Like, it looks like it was printed on, not actually, like, sc scribbled on. A provision dealing with the paupers of Whitechapel. Lord Marsh even helps hospitals. It appears that Lord Marsh spent a great deal of his money on aiding the poor. I've never seen so many provisions for the poor, and certainly not in a Lord's house. I'm intrigued by the special education program. Lord Marsh believes that he can help. I'm gratified. Okay, so have I seen everything here? I guess I have. I mean... Seems anticlimactic. I didn't even ask about, like... Oh, a friend of ours. The guy we're investigating. Maybe I'm supposed to... Put together some evidence or something? Still haven't figured out the Echoes thing. Is there something else that interests you? Despite my title, yes. I have to share my home with these bags full of food for the poor. You must understand. Alright, so that's fully researched. That's fully researched. Anything here? No. Alright, so I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, it's, it's full of food. That was the one I was missing. Humanitarian aid for an orphanage. All right, so maybe now they'll talk to me. I'm gratified. Lord Marsh believes that I'm intrigued by the special education program. All right, so I guess we just go now. Oh, well, okay, well, yep. times all right all right let's go ahead explore hunt's hovel yeah i've already done that Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm supposed to be there. I guess that's where I'm supposed to be. Maybe I need to look around the exterior of the house. See in that window? No. Nope. I 
Hi, Watson. Thanks for hanging out. Um, guys, evidently there's there's one or two more things I need to click on in here. So you you guys just hang out. Just sit awkwardly looking at each other. It's shut tight. Can't get in there. It's Can't go tight. out the back door. Is there a hidden door or anything here? No. Can't get upstairs. Oh, wait, hang on. Met. So yeah, I've already looked at all this. Last year. Lord. Lord Mark. Can I turn this or anything? No. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by the special education program. Watson, don't be a don't be an idiot. Can I climb up on all this? No. Okay. Watson, help me figure out what the fuck I'm doing wrong. See, and like that one shows that like it's green. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Dear Lord March, here are the list of selected participants for the special education program in October. It looks to be a very promising event. I'm looking forward to it. I've never heard of this man. I've never heard of this man. John Strobridge. I've seen this name before. It was on a missing persons poster. Okay. I can't quite work it out. Do you have any ideas to the number of people who might owe you their lives? Oh, don't embarrass me, Mr. Holmes. But indeed, these people have become like a family to me. That would be a fairly large family, I imagine. <laughs> yes, but the list would be longer than any of your short stories. As for how wow. large, well, I mean, Fisher yeah, is the one who keeps record. Might we take a glance at the list? I regret that is impossible. It is confidential. I stand firm upon that point, Mr. Holmes. I quite understand. We'll most certainly send a donation towards your educational program. I shall take my leave then. I thank you both and I wish you all the very best, gentlemen. Likewise, Mr. Holmes. Uh, Watson, I don't believe them. Alright, let's go back to Hunt's home and let's Talk to the kid and figure out if he knew anything about this. I guess. I guess that's what we're going back for. God, this game takes forever to load. about my father Tom Tom not so fast 
I wanted to ask you if you remember your father mentioning anything about a special education program. An education program? No, he only talked about a special job. What's this box, Tom? Oh, yeah. I just found it, Mr. Holmes. It was ever so well hidden. I've no idea why. Well done, my boy. It could prove very helpful. I mean, maybe maybe you could describe where this box was. Maybe this box could have came in handy from the beginning. Wolf Jack looks like a military badge. This oil can also be used on weapons. Yeah, I'll just take this key. A ramrod to clean a rifle. Tom, does your father own a rifle? A rifle? No. If he had, he would have shot at me. I'm sure that he wouldn't have shot. A collection of worn out and second hand books. George Hurst was providing his son with the best education that he could afford. Father bought all those books for me. He didn't tell me, but I know that he pawned his coat for them. The roof leaks all the time. Father used to fix it. All right, so I got a key of some kind. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. used to oil a firearm. Tom, does your father have any other property? No. Well, at least I don't think so. I have to take Toby. He'll take a sniff of the oil and we'll find that rifle. George Hurst's work was varied. Okay. Gotta go back to the house. Have the dogs that smell the oil. Why does this special job require a gun? Holmes, we need to help poor Tom. Thanks. Thanks for reminding me. Come on, Toby. It's time for you to earn your keep. Oh, it's a cute popo. Watson, I prefer to visit Lord Marsh. I'm worried about the condition of his health. I mean, the game just pretty much told me where to go. Oh, okay. Find a pair of relay clues and they'll form a deduction. Right, I'm about to lean forward on this a little bit. Let's see. Quarters, Mains Club, Lord Marsh and his companions are famous, are members of the famous hunting club.
Okay, let's go ahead and go back to Hertz's house with the dog. Uh, get him to spray the uh, smell the rag, and then I guess we'll find the gun there. And that'll be hard to explain. Right now I'm a dog. Well, it looks like it goes right out the door. All right, I'm a dog and it can open doors. That's great. Oh my god, does Toby even bend on the stairs? No, he, he doesn't. He just keeps running. As if he's running on flat surface. Good old Toby. Well, I got two different paths. freak out but that's all right so I guess he walked that way at some point but well it looks like it's going that way oh no it goes this way Creepy down here. Pile of rubbish. It's not here. Just some old things. things old things you know just a whole bunch of old things ain't nothing but an ordinary old thing storage it's just ordinary storage may just chill the fuck out just rubbish it's just rubbish it's just it's just stupid rubbish tom's photograph let's try to get inside and by try i mean kick down the door okay we got some we got some Fucking puzzle here. Here we go. Use the correct lock picks to lock the play um to pick the lock plates. All right. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but there's no space for this lock pick. There's no space for this lock pick. There's no space. 
There's no. No, no, no. There's no. There's no space. There's no. Okay, so I guess that was it. All right. News clippings on lords in the education program. Why are they here? Lord Marsh, an associate with um, and his friends, Lord Harrington and Lord Collins, is a co-founder of the special education program in assisting the poor to build better lives and more certain futures these three gentlemen surely help lift the level of struggling society <coughs> surely Let's compare this list with the evidence that we found earlier this is the list of selected participants for october's special education program according to this poster john strobridge is missing Let's compare them with people from Hearst documents. This man appears in both documents. Thomas Kelly and Patrick Tanner. People in Marsh's document are marked and dated in George Hurst's files. Dear Tom, if you're reading this letter, that means I'm dead. I am so sorry that things have ended up this way, but I have no other choice. You know that. You are a very smart boy, and I'm so proud of you. I hope one day you'll understand that, um, and you'll forgive me, son. I love you so much. Don't despair. Try to be happy, for you'll grow up to be a man someday, and sooner than you think. You won't be alone. Me and your ma will be looking over you from heaven. Your loving father. Well, that sucks. Dear Georgia, I do understand um, you, and it's so sad. Say, um, same as you. I can't find a job, not even the smallest thing. My children have nothing to eat. When I try to find anything, the bosses just say they don't want wounded people working for them. Our military service means nothing. Our country used us in war, and now it has abandoned us. Nobody cares. Your friend Jack. Perhaps the Ripper? By Her Royal Majesty Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and um, Ireland, I, Frederick Russell Burham, Mayor of the British Army, declare the country extends its gratitude to George Hurst, an honorable soldier of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, uh, for his valiant military service. The British Army hereby awards him the Distinguished Conduct Medal and retires him due to the injuries sustained while on duty. Mayor Frederick Russell Burham. Or major. I was about to say, why is a mayor making those decisions? This case must have been full of cartridges. There was something on the stand. Perhaps a rifle? There was a rifle here. George Hurst took it with him. Oh, and now I gotta go back to Hertz's cellar. Yay. Might as well look around here, see if there's anything else. Anything in that treasure chest? Is there some loot in there? Nothing that could interest me. Someone's taking dumps in the corner. Bloop.
Good boy, Toby. Brave Toby. Best nose in the British Empire. to do I wanted to see if there's mm, let's see Oh my god, there's a scythe over here. Death was here. I knew he was involved in this. Wherever there's violence, there's always death to follow. Now we gotta go back and wait for the load scene again to look in the basement. We should just look in the basement to begin with. I get to the cellar that well, looks a bit like an outhouse I guess no one ever uses the outhouse they just block it off that's room A that's B that's C I could have swore it said look in the cellar hearse cellar Well, where's their cellar? Yeah, that's D. Please, sir, find my father. Well, I'm trying to. But evidently, I'm supposed to look in your cellar. Maybe they're talking about up here? Or? I know this isn't a cellar. All right, looked in there. Yep, so I'm leaving. Yeah, I am at the Hearst house. So maybe the only way to get to the cellar is through outside, maybe. Maybe around back. I'm so confused on where I'm supposed to go.
May I have made enough connections to ask the right question? Where's your fucking cellar, kid? Please, sir, find my father. Man, I'm supposed to go up here and look up here with a. some old things just some old things that's all uh, all right well guys I, I I do not know where I'm supposed to go here it says I'm supposed to check the cellar I hope you'll find my father soon old clothes soiled and worn I mean, I'm, I'm at Hearst's house. other doors I can go into.
I really don't get this. There's nothing else in there. I'm going to try to look it up real quick. So we got through all this. Okay, so evidently I don't have enough evidence. All right, so maybe I need to head back down to the place that Toby found. Evidently, I didn't look good enough in here. of Epping Forest. Wow. Okay. So the names from the list found in George Seller are crossed out. The names are the same as those that were at Lord Marsh's house. Via the newspaper article, George Hertz was interested in a special education program, but nothing more. George Hertz collected information about the paupers and the lords involved in the special education program. Yeah, so I think that's right. So I, I think he, he knew he wasn't going to come back. Oh, not that one. This 
one. Let's head over to Marsh's house. Figure out how they're lying to us. Holmes, what are you doing here? <laughs> what are you planning? A mission of my own. You must play the role of the conscientious doctor while I sneak inside Marsh's house. That's the only way of helping little Tom. Yes, Watson, be a lookout for me as I do illegal shit. Cause breaking the law is fun. It's fun to do bad things. These are the worst locks ever. How can I help you? I came to visit Lord Marsh. What for? I would very much like to see Lord Marsh, if you please. Oh. All right, so now I have agency of Watson. I have to visit Lord Marsh and offer him my services. Fisher, please allow Dr. Watson to enter. Please. Good he job. just broke a vase. Can't you see the man really wants to talk? All right, there's painting here. I'm not sure what that means, but all right. What's this book? Oh, it's just there to get in the way, I guess. Dear Lord Marsh, thanks to the special education program, my life has been changed completely. I don't know how to thank you, so I picked you this flower. Thank you. Dear Lord Collins, it is clear to me that we could learn a great many um, things about running the Empire from those who trample underfoot. These sell, um, same people whom we leave destitute and starving in the shadows of our own city, at home or abroad. Okay, well. To this day, and by my estimation, the special education program has saved over 200 individuals from the gutter and elevated them to help form and support the critical foundations of our prosperous empire. This is largely thanks to wisdom and foresight to Lord Marsh, who is a most progressive and wise politician. He has carried out a great deal of uh, work in the field while ignoring the critics and my hindrance from his and any hindrance from his arrogant colleagues who are set in their ways I can hide here Lord Marsh is a keen hunter
painting hanging crookedly fingerprints let's see doctor it appears that you were impatient to pay me another visit indeed will you allow me to examine you a second opinion so that the great lord marge does not become the late lord marge <laughs> well since you put it that way very well shall i retire to your office lord marge no please doctor i insist that you stay i shall need your assistance will you break anything else i'll try my best Nah, hide. And he comes in, he's all like, I don't totally see the grown man standing over there <laughs> squatting in the corner. This game is so tense. Rotate the safe down and locate the area of clear sound feedback to confirm the safe combination. Okay. November 7th. This means that the meeting is planned for today. Dear Lord Marsh, on November 7th, our meeting starts at Gersten Oak. I have attached a map to this letter so that you may find the place easily. Lord Collins. Let us kill all the poor people. <laughs> Take some of that money. Take some of that money, Sherlock. What are you doing? Well, you know, maybe we should close up the safe. You know. I mean, we already took some of the stuff out of it. I mean, I could piece together Quartermain and that he is a hunter. And what else, what else can we wound? That's not going to connect. Okay, maybe I can go search upstairs or something now. I have to finish my search of the office. Okay, so yeah, no, I'm not quite there. Evidently, there's still something else here, maybe? Up oh, that way. I so admire all of these um, poppers. They seem to have such a breath of fresh air. Commuting with them is such a pleasure, and they are so smart, not like us. Perhaps it is they who sh um, should have been lords, and we the simple commoners, Lord Harrington. 
Wow. So he's an ass. Not what I meant to do. I'm so serious. I write with hyphens mm. so people know I'm so serious. Weakness is perhaps more than a simple case of influenza. Where might your companion be, Dr. Watson? Oh, he's busy poking his nose into other people's business, I'm sure. <clears throat> <laughs> he did My lord, I'm sorry to interrupt. My lord, he just literally stole a napkin from me right there. I mean... My apologies, Dr. Watson, but we are expected elsewhere. <sighs> might we offer you a lift? You're going out. I'm not sure that's wise in your condition. I value your opinion, but misery never rests and I am needed. Well, do please take good care of yourself, Lord Marsh. I'll send you my diagnosis, Dr. Fisher. Thank you, Dr. Watson. Farewell. Fare thee well. Be well, John Marston. see if we could figure this out before I gotta go. Holmes, come here. This is serious. Holmes, come here. This is serious. Holmes, come here. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. Holmes, come here. This is serious. Watson, what are you doing at my table? I just need to get the check fuck off my table. Marsh. My intuition tells me that Lord Marsh is hiding something about his disease. His cough, in addition to his fever and his usage of strong painkillers, leads me to believe that he is seriously ill. What is with this audio? Is that supposed to be like people outside? Sputum with tiny drops of blood. I could take a sample and examine it under the microscope. You take that sample. How, how do we go about taking that sample? I need to take a sample. Using the glass rod. Okay, let's let's assume it's that. There we go. Now sample. Perfect. Let we us get the slide. Let us apply chemicals to color the sample. Let, yeah, let's supply. Need a pip cap. Let's supply um some chemicals. Apply that chemical. There you go. That helps, I think. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put some purple in there, too. Why the fuck not? Let's put some purple up in there. How's that purple looking? Okay, we're getting there. But I think we really need some of this, this darker purple. If we're going to be doing this right. There wow. we go. Let's examine the colored sample under the microscope. Why does it sound like he delivered that line while, like, sniffling into his finger? All right. <sighs> now let's look at it under the microscope. <sighs> mm. Yeah, put it, on the, put it on the tray. Put it on the tray. <sighs> Sounds like Donald Trump at a press conference. Mycobacterium. It appears that Lord Marsh is seriously ill. 
Holmes, this is no longer a laughing matter. It is just as I feared Lord Marsh is suffering from tuberculosis. You don't say. Yes, I do say. And Holmes, he will die if he is not transferred to a sanatorium as soon as possible. And yet both Lord Marsh and Dr. Fisher are doing their best to hide this fact. How interesting. But why? Why indeed, Watson. Oh, but... Oh, dear God. You don't think that Lord Marsh contracted tuberculosis while aiding the poor? How terrible. I have a commitment that I can't possibly cancel. Holmes, during my absence, please be extremely careful. This disease is highly contagious. And remember that we have women at home. Please remember that we have... Thank you, Miss Alice. Until later. I'll see you soon, Caitlin. Where have you been? Our neighbor lent me a book. She is so kind. I think she likes you. <laughs> I doubt that. How is your investigation going? It's going. Dracula? Yes. It's forbidden reading at my boarding school. Did you know? Well, well. Well, well, well. Okay, well. Well, well. <gasps> I can't wait to tell all my friends about this. I got to read Dracula. Um... I won't be able to find that in there. In the newspapers. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. With that logo, I think. Nope, nope. Uh, badges and medals. Wolf Jack is half wolf and half jackrabbit. It is used by the Lovat Scouts as a self descriptive nickname. The Lovat Scouts formally became the British Army first marksman unit. Here it is. Here it is. A map of London and its surroundings. It could be useful. Yeah, it'll look up like that, that oak. Okay, so I don't think it's going to be in there. Here it is. Constance Oak is in Epping Forest. That's the place indicated on George Hurst's map. Okay. can go maybe may I need to look on there there we go let's try to find the place from the hand-drawn map
Hmm. There's Strawberry Hill. I told you about Strawberry Hill. There Here we go. it is. Drat. I need to hurry if I want to find out what's going on at the forest. Father, that boy Wiggins, does he come here very often? He helps occasionally in some of my cases. Why do you ask? I'd like to talk to him. Talk to him? Talk to him? Uh, back at school, there are only girls to talk to, and they are so boring. I'm sure Wiggins has lots of exciting stories. Look, to take my word for it, darling. Wiggins. Sherlock knows when to suck so the D, romantic. and it is not now. Not until you're older. Caitlin, you know that Wiggins hasn't had the most fortunate life. That only makes him more interesting. Oh, Caitlin. Oh, goodness gracious. I'll leave you alone now. Anything else? Nope. Okay. The map of London and its surroundings. No, it's wanting me to do this. Oh, okay. Well, now suddenly it works. All right. I'll take it. Go to Epping Forest. Go to the fucking Epping Forest. See if I care. Going on down to Epping Forest. Now we're back to where we were. Let's see how long you can stay alive. Choose the easier path to increase your distance from the hunter, or you will die. Run, little rabbit, run. Get it off. Is that your blood in the snow? <laughs> Here you Rare bushes, descendant. That's a descendant, though, it's descent.
who's poor. He was... This man was killed recently. The body is still warm. Find him, boys! Find him! Oh, well. I like how I can't see who my assaulter is, but I'm sure it's one of the barons. Mad weed, smell the swamp. Big stone. Yeah, let's go this way. Okay, well. Yeah, I kind of wish I hadn't gone to the swamp. These are not very good marksmen. Oh, okay, there was no reason to go that way. Alright, great. Can I get up there? No. Can't climb up there. I don't think I can walk this way, but...
Run, Sherlock, run! How many times can you be shot, Sherlock? Run! Nailed it. My God, it's Lord Harrington's body. He was killed by a shot to the forehead. My health is deteriorating. I need to dress my wound. Hide out in this house. The Quartermain Club. This must be Lord Marsh's cabin. This will help to dress my wound. Uh, well, I was trying to leave out the back, but... Alright, so where am I supposed to hide? Up oh, there we go. Breathe, Lord Marsh. It's almost over. Who are you? George Hurst from the First Lovett Scouts. Here to deliver justice. <laughs> An old soldier. How ironic. Did we refuse you on our special education program? It's true, I was refused. An old wounded soldier is useless to you. But he can still be dangerous. We hunted a lot in these woods, but I didn't expect to become the prey. I have lived a grand life without any limits set by others. I will die a happy man, so you won't see me begging you festering wretch. Prepare to meet your maker. Alright, so we got some new clues going on here. Marsh hunts down people. Lord Marsh and his companions hunt down people from the special education program. George Hurst only wishes to avenge the victims. condemn him because you know George, your rifle, please, for 
Tomsick. Holmes! My, my. An almost worthy opponent. Tom? My Tom? If you've endangered my lad in any way, you will pay dearly. I assure you that Tom is safe in London with a well-trusted friend. Don't put down the gun. It's time to end this. By all means. George, listen to me. If you're seeking an apt punishment and vengeance, killing Marsh will give him exactly what he wants. He would die knowing that he had fulfilled his life through his absolute control of it. But if you allow Marsh to live and be arrested, he will suffer a punishment far greater than your eye could deliver. His ball and chain will be the debilitating tuberculosis. It will drag him painfully and slowly to his demise behind bars. You're mad. You're both mad. Let's go and find Tom. Not just yet. See, Lord Marsh, you will die here. Although not by the gun. You'll die slowly. Don't do this, George. Detective, take a look here. This is how you became sick, Lord Marsh. The beheading of your victims who were suffering from tuberculosis was what infected you. Poetic justice. Holmes, you cannot fully understand why we helped so many and sacrificed a few. But don't let me die like this. Just kill me now. Don't do it. Mr. Hurst. You've already served brutal justice to Lord Harrington and I hope Lord Collins and Dr. Fisher. Taking that into consideration, you may as well kill Lord Marsh and end the court main club completely. No loose ends. Okay. All right, finish the case. Let him, let's just kill him. All right. Yay! Well, we did it. Well, guys, I hate to say it, but it, unfortunately... Oh, where's my button? It's gone. Well, that's a shame. That's a real shame. All right, well... Hey guys, I had a lot of fun. Uh, maybe we'll play the next mission. If you guys enjoyed this one, maybe um, let me know. Send me a message. Um, tell me what you like about the show. Tell me what games you want to see finishes of. And um, we'll go from there. Well, I'm off to go see Avengers um, Endgame. Um, you know, I, I wish everyone luck. And um, if, if you're watching it this weekend, don't spoil it. Be, be a cool guy. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it for everyone, you know. Post your memes with friends and stuff, but don't post them publicly. People people can tell. Like the whole little, I don't feel so good, you know, meme. You know, people can tell. People who haven't seen the movie, they can tell. So don't do that. Anyway, I hope you guys had fun. We'll see you all next time.